Okay, we're going to talk about the living wage. What do you think a living wage is? Living, I guess it depends on what you consider living, right? Living wage, I don't know, $32 an hour? 32 Everyone's got their their thing, right? <laughs> I don't know, something something like that. Uh, it, it depends. Living wage, whatever. There's different, I guess in an economy, there's different wages for different occupations based on maybe what people are willing to pay for what you're doing or mm-hmm. what society deems to be more uh, worth uh, a higher wage, you know, mm-hmm. and we've been in this thing for a long time. We know the, the the concept of a doctor or a lawyer makes a lot of money or, you know, an engineer now becomes, you know, the, the most sought after occupation because it's deemed to be the one with the least amount of stress for the the amount of wage you get. And so we've had this societal kind of thing that everyone agreed on for the last 50 or so years. It seems mm. to be changing now with the, the idea that just everybody deserves like the medal, kind of like at school. You, you, nobody loses, nobody wins. Everyone gets a ribbon. We just go for the middle. Yeah. Like we're just going to average everything out. Yeah. So everyone, everyone gets an average wage no mm. matter what you do. So doctors will eventually get paid the same as, the the people picking up the the um, recycling and garbage and things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's an interesting thought. I hadn't, but anyways, I hadn't thought of it that way. And but. that will end with what the specific quote is in this story as well. I, I do believe if 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 it's what you read to me this morning. Yeah. So, I mean, I've felt different ways about minimum wage different times, but our yeah. minimum wage is relatively high compared to in uh, in this country. Mm-hmm. Uh, in this province, because every province obviously decides separately what it's going to be, uh, but the city specifically has decided that it's not high enough. So July first, they're going to be raising the minimum wage of city employees to roughly seventeen dollars an hour. I thought you were going to give a drum roll, but <laughs> I don't know. That's my drum roll. So sixteen ninety eight, which is Pretty much seventeen dollars an 17 hour. Seventeen bucks an hour. So our province says the minimum wage is fifteen and change an hour, and the municipality says not not we're mm-hmm. we're going to make our minimum wage. So we basically have a municipal mi- minimum wage for city employees. Yes. Okay. And that's coming on July first. So I guess the idea was something like this: the city council approved this bump, and possibly we'll do another one. I guess the idea of it is. Because of inflation and other factors, the minimum wage kind of floor has yeah. not kept up with the cost of living. Yeah. So, you know. Again, though. You have to raise that wage to go with it. And yeah. this might come as a surprise to people that haven't lived outside of Ontario, but there are many, many places in the world where the minimum wage has fallen significantly below what anybody would be willing to work for. Yeah, just by nature of inflation and things generally go up in cost over time. Yeah. So there are many places in the world, not Sudbury, not Ontario, that it's totally natural to be paid significantly above the minimum wage of that area, mm. just because the governments there decided that the minimum wage is not really an effective way of raising people's living standards. Yeah. So. Because does it really? I think that I think I've I've heard different I. You know, ex- explanations of you raise the minimum wage, it doesn't necessarily, you know, just cost of everything else goes up. So you kind of kibosh the idea of minimum wage going up, right? Because well, there's a really interesting, yeah, yeah. I had a classmate yeah. actually in one of my economics classes. Great, great guy actually. And, um, and he's from out of town. And we were talking about minimum wage in a class. And I have read a couple of books about it. Like I read Keynes' General Theory. I read uh, Thomas Sowell's opinions about it. And I fall more in the camp of you should let minimum wage just stay the same and let society's norms outpace it. Yeah. Because it's very politically unpopular to abolish something like a minimum wage. Yeah. But like I said, many places will just slowly, it will become irrelevant. Mm -hmm. So like people will just 
the market will just determine your worth this much, even though yeah. minimum wage is much lower than that. And he, yeah. this classmate of mine generally said, because pe most people agree, minimum wage workers account for actually only 5 or 10% of people. Mm -hmm. So it's a relatively small but politically very valuable group. For sure, yes. Because if you make these people feel good, it's really good generally. Even people not making minimum wage really yeah. kind of fight for the minimum wage issue. Yeah. And it's only 10% of people, but they actually do have a lot of influence on things like rent prices. And we talked about this in the class, and my position was thirty about 30% 30 of people at rent in our city, but a larger percent of renters are making minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So if you raise the minimum wage, what's that going to do to rent? What's well, going to inflate the rent? Yeah, that's what that was. It's my just going to happen. Yeah, for sure. So like once we you talked raise about that minimum wage, everything else goes up after that because your labor uh, at the whatever business you're working at goes up because the costs were for that business owner goes up because he mm -hmm. has to pay or she has to pay more uh, to you know to run their business. I would think that's pretty intuitive for most people. Right, their products go up, and then so the very people that are making more money have to spend more money. In to order to live, yeah, to support that. So I, I don't know. That's an, you know, I don't know why this conversation keeps coming up over and over and over again. But the city has decided that we are going for a minimum wage, uh, living wage that's two, almost two dollars higher than the uh, the going rate of a minimum wage. And they did say that they didn't even think that was sufficient, and that it's going to go up. Shortly. They want to put it up more. They want to put it up more. But yeah. the point, for me, the point is, why are you paying the minimum wage? Yeah, why are they being paid minimum wage to begin with? Yeah, why don't they just pay them? Like, in, I've, in my experience, yeah. city workers do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Like, they have a lot of different responsibilities. I remember at the Five and Wolves and Five games, the same city workers would be the ones setting up, like, a concert. Yeah. And then the next week, they would be putting up the hockey boards. Yep. And mm -hmm. then the next week they would be cleaning or whatever. So there's all different kinds of jobs. It just doesn't seem like a minimum wage job. Like I look at other yeah. people working doing in the private things. sector yeah. doing similar things and making much more. Yeah. So I don't For know. Sure. Well, it's just it's just confusing, that's all. And it is what it is, and no matter what happens, the Sudbury is going to a new living wage of sixteen dollars and ninety eight cents as of july the first so if you mm -hmm. are currently a city employee making less than it's a that, nice bump you're getting a bump so it's a nice nice raise congratulations it's like eighty hundred dollars a week so that's yeah. pretty good there's always a downside and an upside to pretty much any change yeah and i'm not saying it's not gonna be good for those people i think oh, correct. It definitely that's will. what i mean yeah and there's only sure. 200 250 people so yeah they're gonna feel the benefits <laughs> Hey, AJ here. Did you like that video? Please like and subscribe for more Just Like It every weekday. Share it with your friends so they can stay up to date with all Sudbury news.